beautiful humans and welcome back to my channel i haven't said that intro in a long time i just realized that when i said it out loud <laughs> but welcome back to the channel as you can see we are doing a mukbang i got wing stop one of my favorite places ever to get wings I some cajun fries that's what they're looking like and all of these are flat chicken parm wings while we do that let us pray amen so let me get my sauce together and i got some ketchup right here on the side just in case and then crazy napkins and a water take oh <laughs> spilling it which I want to take a sip right now. So before I get into today's topic, I hope everyone is having a good day. It is, I'll post this on Sunday, but I recorded this video Saturday. So I hope. Mm. I hope you guys are having a good Sunday. It's ironic because I'm posting this and I'm probably in the kitchen cooking. <laughs> Eating biscuits and regular, but. These are good. They look spicy now. Mm. It's drumming these wings. Are y'all flats or drums people? Because honey, I need flats every time. Every time. Let's see, I can do this without spilling. Why is that so good? So, I wanted to talk to you guys about a concept that I've been thinking about. And y'all, y'all know how like this part is so annoying. Y'all, y'all know how like the phrase "applying pressure" that's usually geared towards dating, but like. As of recently, I've been feeling like I need to apply pressure on myself. Like, real shit. Why is it that we always want to apply pressure for another person instead of the main person who's running the show? I mean, it's really having me bother, but you know what I mean? Who's navigating the vessel? Like, you know what I mean? How many times am I going to say that? <laughs> so, before, if you would have asked me probably like 10 years ago, where do I see myself? I probably would have said, married with kids by 30 probably have a business going and doing a damn thing but realistically i'm 31 no kids single living on my own out here in sunny florida now things didn't work in my favor as far as that like how i pictured it but things worked in my favor for me personally. So it's like, I'm still happy. I'm still grateful. I'm still thankful for where my life has gone. And I feel like I used to be afraid of being single for so long because the world tells you that you're supposed to be married, that you're supposed to do all these things while you're a woman. It's like, would still think in the back of my head like should I be really like should I be with someone right now should I be married like am I on the right path baby I don't even think that no more <laughs> because where I'm at is where I'm supposed to be and I just wanted to let someone else know that whoever's watching this don't sit too long on where you think you should be and just focus on where you're at and have fun and find ways to make your life the life that you want it to be. You know how people like romanticize your life? Like, 
do the things you always wanted to do. And I didn't realize that while you're single and you don't have kids and while you don't have a husband, that's self-work time, baby. <laughs> like, I think about like where my life could have been. And I'm like, bro, there's so many things that I want to do that I'm going to show you guys on this channel. But if I really wanted to do that, I would not have been able to with kids and a husband. All of my attention would go towards them. There's nothing wrong with that. But if God didn't switch the gears for me, then I wouldn't even realize that. Like how important it is that I make myself happy. How important it is that I pour into myself versus letting other people do it. And it's just like groundbreaking. <laughs> because now I just feel an immense relief versus feeling like I'm not where I should be. No, I'm, it's about to be lit. I'm about to do everything that I want to do. I don't have to worry about anyone else. Just me. Like, this is a time to be selfish and I want to enjoy it and not feel bad because of it. So for my girls out there, my women out there who's thinking, well, my life's supposed to be this way, my life's supposed to be that way. How is it now? And are you grateful for it? Like, whether God gave you everything that you wanted, would you still be happy here on this earth? I feel like just take a deep dive in that and maybe consult with God to see, hey, like, Lord, not to question you, <laughs> but where do you see my life going? Am I pursuing things the way I should? Is there anything that I need to change? Because half the time, most of us are single because we need to do self-work. That's the real tea. People don't want to admit it, but it's the truth. We're not here for ourselves, in my opinion. We're here for each other, but I feel like to be here for each other, you have to pour in yourself. Like, what is it, Gla glass half, half full? <laughs> that concept. I can't pour into anybody if my shit ain't right. <laughs> and now I just wanna pour it to myself. Even like with dating, I want to date myself. I want to do things on my own and I feel like oh I gotta have I gotta have a nigga to do this that and the third I'm gonna take myself out on dates I'm gonna take myself to places that I've always wanted to go but maybe was a little bit too afraid to because I didn't want to go alone but sometimes <laughs> that's the benefit you wait on other people to do the things that you want to do you will forever be stuck and I'll just say that you shouldn't have friends not say you shouldn't have family do stuff with but bruh you gotta be okay with being alone. And ironically, I love being by myself. <laughs> I can stay cooped up in the crib for weeks and not talk to a human being and not feel like I'm losing my shit. I don't get stir crazy. <laughs> I'm already crazy, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but realistically, like, I just wanna encourage anyone that's watching this to do the things that you've always wanted to do, whether someone is there with you or not. Don't be afraid of this world. Fuck everything that's going on. I mean, be safe. But do what you want to do and do it safely. Like, if you're afraid to take yourself out on a date, take yourself out on lunch during the day. Or go to a mall first. See how you feel sitting in a food court. Then go to a restaurant during the day as well. See how you feel about that. And then maybe one night, you're just going to pick up and go. And you're going to go to the bar and get a drink. Like, I want sex in the city vibes without the sex. <laughs> And that's another thing, like, when it comes to dating, I'm just so not interested. I'm just so not interested. Anything that's going to deter me from being happy and doing things that I want to do, I just, I'm just not interested. And my issue with dating is that I always date people that are not truly into me and the things that I want to do. Because if they were, I feel like our dates will be different. Our interactions would be different it's always what they want to do even if i suggest things like it's just it's never the vibe it's never it and plus the fact with some real shit i'm tired of getting to know people sharing my story sharing my body or for them to end up being a stranger that's not it real men that want to be with you and want to be around you they gonna be with you and they gonna be around you. I'll put up boundaries like for sex. Niggas disregard it. <laughs> disregard it like I'm playing. But I'm dead ass. Like 
come in a space where it's like if it's not real i don't want to have sex i just don't like you know what i mean i just don't want to do that anymore because it's not feeding my spirit if anything it's allowing with spirits in here that don't need to be up in this temple uh -huh. so that's another thing you, it's, it's hard out here to even find people that are that mature to not put sex in the forefront i don't care how that i'm a snap not to say it like that but most people be like um well you always got your ass out you da -da 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 -da. I don't care what that mean if the silhouette is lit while I still got it I'm going to show it because it ain't gonna look like this forever my mama told me that <laughs> you gotta get in while you can and that's not even sick to say it like use what you got like on some players club shit <laughs> to get what you want but like I feel like I should be able to be free as a woman wear what I want do what I want and that not attract assholes feel like i'm attracting a certain type of dude because i'm not where i'm supposed to be but what i am then i'll meet him then everything will make sense because this nigga did it <clears throat> i want someone cultured someone that first of all loves the lord that wants to pray together go to church together i want someone that wants to be adventurous these niggas don't want to do nothing they don't want to spend no money they want you to spend your money. I realize that. That's what I'm saying. I gotta level up so I can get that level up man. Because what I'm attracting is not it. So I got pouring to myself to have my mental, my spirit, my physical. And I'm sure that'll probably welcome in good vibes, whether that's in a relationship, friends, colleagues, who knows? Like and that's the best part like going out and doing things on your own you get to meet different people and do different things like i'm just so excited for where i'm about to go and then i'm being selfish and really applying that pressure that's never been applied to me by anyone else with the season that i'm in at this point i am setting the tone for anybody that thinks they're going to come in my life and distract me because if they can't do what i'm already doing what is the point <laughs> I just want to get out of my comfort zone and enjoy life the way I'm supposed to. And still in a way that's pleasing to God because I still think about the Lord and what his plan is for me because I want to make sure that I am on the right path. So, I mean, thankful he's allowing me to feel this freedom and I'm the opportunity to do the things I want to do so hmm. it's not just a concept I guess <laughs> it's just a way of life because as women we're always told that we ain't really shit if, if we ain't got a family if we're not married which ain't right there's a lot to me I have a lot to offer and it's not even about offering to someone else. It's about what I can offer myself, loving on myself, mothering myself, repairing to myself. Like anything that I need, I can do. And if I can't, God always fills the voids for me. And that's why I feel so comfortable to be like, now I feel more comfortable being single because everything that I thought I didn't have, God filled a position for. Whether I was feeling lonely because of a friend or feeling like I didn't have a connection with, with a man or like, that I was with I've had like guy friends to step in at certain times like so I don't feel like I need anything I have what I need and now I just want to do what I want <laughs> I, I want to tell you that there's nothing wrong with that our mental health that was the most important thing in this world if you got kids even if you are married schedule some time for you or walk in a park by yourself spend some time with you get to know you see the things that you like see the things you don't like without others opinion because sometimes when you're around other people that can influence your decisions believe it or not it's not to say that's like being a follower but it's just you know because when you're around other people hey you want Dunkin Donuts yeah I want Dunkin Donuts but maybe you didn't plan on 
having Dunkin' Donuts, but that would sound good. Like, you know what I mean? Like, try new things, do new things, and feel happy and proud of it, and not feel like it's taken from anyone, because it's just something that's making you happy. Like, <laughs> it really looks like I barely ate. I don't know how people do this, but I tried. <laughs> Please make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.